So just just welcome um, to everybody who's who's come today to the summer solidarity gathering at Dungavel. I'm here on behalf of Justice and Peace Scotland. The continued existence of Dungavel Immigration Centre is becoming a real problem for Scotland now. We've been told different things about its closure, about its remaining open, and still we have an American private company profiting off the misery of people who have come to the UK seeking sanctuary, looking for safety, and trying to make a better life for themselves away from conflict, away from persecution. The Bible consistently tells people that we must remember we were slaves in Egypt and we must welcome the stranger. Uh, that must be around 15 years now we've been coming just to say this is wrong. This shouldn't be happening in our country. And the reason I'm holding this placard that says Scotland's shame is because it shames me that I'm in a parliament in my own country and I can do nothing to help the people in Dungavel. The injustices that are wrought upon people who want no, no more than a safe haven. This used to be an open prison and it seems to me that since it became a detention centre, then an immigration removal centre, it's less open than it ever was. And it's filled with people who've never committed any crime. That is a shame. It's Scotland's shame. And I come here to protest against that. And it doesn't matter how often people come or how many people come, we've got to show solidarity, because that's important. Yeah, don't give vividly remember that. I became into this process. I, I was never imprisoned, but I've been in a detention twice. It has weakened me physically and mentally because I don't work and I don't see, there is no other opportunities if you are not allowed to, to use your skills. Horrible experience about Don Gevo was when I, I got in straight away and I saw a family with little kids and even a baby. Uh, I was very upset about that uh, because don't, um, detention centre is an evil place uh, and even adults are not able to withstand the stress and all the horrible uh, experiences we have there, let alone children. My, my name is Margaret Sweeney and uh, five and a half years ago I helped to set up Glasgow Night Shelter for Destitute Asylum Seekers. Well, first and foremost, the men are going to turn up very frightened, very lonely, and we give them a warm welcome and a hot evening meal. And then we give them secure accommodation uh, for as many nights as they wish. So I'm, I'm here from Global Justice Glasgow and uh, we spend our time campaigning on issues of global poverty and inequality. Um, and we've started work on migration because we see it very much as connected to those broader issues. So people move around the world because of poverty and a lot of that poverty is exacerbated and perpetuated by the policies of the UK government and, and by UK based corporations. They move because of climate change which has primarily been caused by the richer countries of the world and they move because of conflict which again has been uh, perpetuated by UK government selling arms to repressive regimes. So it's really wrapped up with those broader issues of poverty and inequality so we don't see migration as a problem, we see those underlying issues as the things we should be working on um, and we shouldn't be locking people up when they've committed no crime, we should be dealing with those underlying issues. Hi, I'm Frances Gallagher and I'm Campaigns Manager with Justice and Peace Scotland and we're going to um, spread some seeds now as an act of solidarity for those inside Dungavel. My name is Kate Alexander, I work for Scottish Detainee Visitors and we're a very small organisation that supports people who um, are detained in Dungavel and we also do awareness raising work and um, policy influencing work. Um, so we visit Dungavel uh, twice a week to offer support to the people who are detained there. We've been doing that for 15 years. The UK detains over 29,000, detained over 29,000 people last year in the year to the 31st of March 2017. That's, a, that's more than the population of Grangemouth, it's more than the population of Clydebank. It's a ridiculous number of, number of people. 56% of the people detained in um, at the 31st of March this year um, had been detained for more than 28 days. 
One of the major issues about detention in the UK is that uniquely in Europe there's no time limit on detention. So everybody entering Dungavel and the, nine other the eight other centres like it in the rest of the UK, nobody knows how long they're going to be there. And it's a uniquely stressful experience. What happens is that you fear two quite contradictory things at the same time. One is that you'll be removed to a country that you don't want to go to. And the other is that you'll remain in detention for a very long time. It can be weeks, it can be months, it can even be years. At the 31st of March this year, somebody had been in detention for nearly four years. And this is the cruelest aspect of what is a gen generally a very cruel system. And we could, it doesn't have to be like, like this. It really is time for a time limit. But detention in general is a horrible place. But detention, Scottish detainee visitors uh, make don't give a little bit better for detainees like myself where you can easily ask them whatever you want, uh, clothing, phone cards, and even ask them to make phone call on your behalf, talking to your solicitors and stuff like that. Uh, one thing I like about them though is the therapeutic aspect of what they do. They come and listen to you. They never pretend they know how you feel as a detainee. They only listen to you and encourage you. A cross-party group of um, parliamentarians, of MPs, um, declared that the current system was expensive, ineffective and unjust. And they recommended a 28-day time limit on detention and a move to community-based alternative. The government says that places like Dungavel are for removing people from the country. 72% of the people leaving detention in Dungavel are released back into the community. The Home Office describes its mission as protecting the borders and ensuring the security of British people. That's all fine and good, but locking up innocent men, women and previously children is not the way to achieve that. In 2001, Dungavel, which had been an open prison, became a detention centre. And since then, it's been a blot on the Scottish landscape. Here in Scotland, we like to think that we are welcoming to people, particularly those who, who have, uh, are trying to escape suffering in their lives. And yet, Dungavel has been a place where people's human rights have, have been breached. There have been instances, one man, for instance, who kept in detention for, for two and a half years. Now, the UK is the only European country that doesn't have a limit on how, under immigration laws, how long people can be detained. And one woman and her four children was kept for 13 months in in one room. Now hopefully these are things of the past, but Dungavel continues and we have to admire the people who have been constantly over those years coming to Dungavel to protest and offer their support to these people seeking asylum in our country. The humane thing to do is to welcome these people and care for them in the community while their case is being heard, not to lock them up in what was an open prison but is now even more a prison than it ever was before.